Hi, I'm here to tell you a little bit about the three stages of every disease, uh, whether it be mind, body, soul, relationship, or even career. Any kind of disease where you are not completely in a relaxed, open, loving, vibrant, engaged, vital, intimate, you get the picture, state of life, you are probably then going to be in some dis ease state. And here's what happens. Here's what happens. This is the same in cultures all around the world. It doesn't matter if we're talking about addiction, we're talking about depression, we're talking about anxiety, we're talking about separation, violation, abuse, we're talking about um, any kind of um, uh, career challenge. You're going to go through these stages. And it's simplified, I know. We could break these stages down into more but basically, I want you to get out of this video. There are three stages that every disease that uh, uh, that happens to your mind, body, soul, relationship, or in your career go through. Okay, the first one. Very simple. You're going to feel, you're going to go through a separation phase. Separation from what? Separation from what is familiar, what is ordinary, what is routine for you. This has been outlined in many different areas. And here's what it looks like. So there's a separation phase, then there's the ordeal phase. And then the last one is the return or the re in corporation phase that happens once you have completed the ordeal at the ordeal and you have then and then come back to your senses, come back to come back into your body, come back into your what you the deeper, more more uh, full life that you're meant to be living. Here's what it looks like. So one, here we are. This is the positive initiation, the positive ordeal, and it looks like this. Can you see that? Of course you can. So what happens is on the positive is that we can get a call, or we can go on a spirit to a call to go on a spiritual path, a call to be married, a call to to um, take a job in a different country, we can, we, can, we can go through a positive ordeal, you know, a bar mitzvah or a bat mitzvah can be, you know, a, a, in the Jewish tradition, it can be a positive initiatory experience, getting our driver's license can be a positive initiatory experience, getting married can be a positive initiatory experience, you're going to feel separate from the familiar, the ordinary, you're going to move out, you're going to move into an ordeal of being married, and hopefully get through some of the symptoms, the challenges and whatnot, and then eventually you're going to arrive at a very comfortable place where you can live together in a very easeful and joyful and more relaxed state. So key word here is ease, and you'll see that in your life. So the call that can be a positive or the call can be a negative. The negative ones are, so this is everything, you can think birth is a, you know, uh, a birth, any you know, puberty can be positive if it's handled well. Um, a marriage, uh, the license, driver's license, um, you know, a promotion, things like that. It very much uh, a positive, a positive ordeal. The negative ordeals look a little different. They're of course uh, much more challenging, and it can be the abuse, it can be the abandonment, it can be the um, challenges of uh, feeling uh, all of a sudden uh, isolated. Um, you can have, uh, you know, abortion is a straight up and down um, um, ordeal, uh, uh, shock, separation, where you're going to feel the feeling is separation. So this is more not really a call. It's um, It's more of what happens to us. It's sort of the, where you're going to feel um, some sort of violation, um, some sort of oppression. I think you get the picture. The, the, you know, examples of this can be divorce. It can, examples of this can be somebody mentally, physically, or emotionally being abused, somebody being abandoned, somebody feeling experiencing a shock and getting knocked off their horse and not, not able to get back on it. So here's what happens. I'm just looking for another... So here's what happens. So when you, we first feel this separation phase, we are separated from the ordinary. We're separated from what is familiar to us. And what happens is, is then, then we decide we need to go and look for some sort of positive way of being able to resolve that. 
So if we're talking about this, this can the birthing can be you have the right midwives around you, you have the right doctors, you have the hospital, you have you have all the positive experiences and everything happens. You go through this ordeal phase, you go through the initiation, the, the particulars of that, and then you come back down with the baby and the mother and everybody's happy and everybody's healthy and all the toes and digits are there and, and you get on with them, you know, in that safe environment and whatnot. But basically you're leaving home, going to the hospital, going through this very painful, very challenging moment but with the right medicine and the right people around the right doctors professionals you 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 know you get down the other side and everything goes well in the negative ordeal what happens is the second phase is usually you're reaching for you're looking for love in all the wrong places basically you end up uh, uh, um, reaching for alcohol or drugs heroin you know abusive relationships um, you end up getting into abusive jobs you end up getting into ordeals that just repeat themselves over and over again. You're actually reaching for the medicine. You're actually reaching for some. Sometimes it's as literal, literally a medicine. Sometimes it's not. It's more of an internal feeling that you're after of connection and whatnot. But, you know, that only lasts six months or six weeks or six minutes. And then you're back feeling that abandonment again. And it just that cycle goes round and round and round. This, in a nutshell, is what we call or what I call... This this is the the, the uh, that that familiar pattern that, that this pattern that we're all familiar with. We go we go we cycle around here. We 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 reach for the drug or the person or the job or with the money or the gambling whatever it is. But then sure enough, we go back to feeling that abandonment, that isolation, that violation, that separate those those awful feelings that have happened as a result of something. And the whole time we're actually trying to get over and back home again to this. So we can come back into our bodies so that the, the trauma can be healed. We can come down into our bodies and then be able to speak about oration is being able to speak about, you know, from the body about what happened to us and be able to share that. We become then, you know, uh, gifted because we have gone through the wound. We've gone through the ordeal and, you know, we've, we've been able to come out the other side and land on our feet. And now we have medicine for the village. We have some sort of treasure. We have something to offer. The wounded healer comes to mind. So the key to the whole thing is really finding um, this all goes positive. We get that. That can be a very done well. That's done well all the time. We can still go through these these uh, these positive things. Uh, but this usually is handled very poorly. There's not enough strong medicine. There's not enough professionals here to handle this. There's not enough allies. There's not enough experienced mentors. You need experienced mentor to be able to take somebody who's been through this ordeal over and over again, or been at least once, and be able to understand that there are these steps. There is these steps actually in each of these in the return as well. In this reincorporation phase, there's actually also some some mini crises that go on, and some you know you have to really stand up and prove your worth and whatnot. So you need professionals, allies mentors, sometimes a village. It takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to repair somebody who has been broken, somebody who has been abused, somebody who has been uh, oppressed, violated. It takes a village. So think strong. This is all strong. This is what strong could be added up to strong medicine. I don't know if you can see that. I'm writing strong medicine down there. And what happens is, is that when you have the strong medicine, then of course you can turn this you can turn this ordeal into a very positive. What does that mean? It means that you come home with gifts. You end up standing in a very different place. You have territory beneath your feet. Your heart is soaring. You have ease back in the system. You have a big smile on your face. And you're feeling a certain brilliance coming through you. Why? Because you are accessing gifts. You're at, you've been cracked open there. But if you heal it properly, you have access then to gifts. You have access to beauty. You have access to cargo. You have access to what Joseph Campbell called boon, treasures. You have access to medicine for the village. Your symptoms, these symptoms here in this cycle that go round and round and round, that pattern is where you have to work. But sometimes if you keep going in and out of a treatment center or you keep going in and out of 
relationships where you keep going in and out of getting better and then going back on the wagon or you keep on uh, uh, repeating the cycle. It's got this repetitive quality. Everybody knows it. It's got this saggy energy. Oh my God, here we go again. And if you're, if you're in that cycle for whatever the abuse is, the abandonment, the isolation, whatever has happened or one of these things gone wrong, then what you need, I'm going to say to you, you need to know that these symptoms are purpose-driven. You just need stronger medicine to be able to get you over to the other side, back into this place. It means that you are being initiated, you're being cracked open to be able to access gifts and boon and treasures and medicine for the village. So you need strong eldership and mentorship, inner allies. Psyche needs to be on the job. Your dreams have to be on the job. You need to do some sort of ritual. You need to be able to find people who have gone through this and have been actually come out the other side and have something to share. Make sense? All these symptoms are purpose-driven to get you back home. They're reminders that you're not there yet. You've got to get some stronger people on the job. And that's a beautiful thing in a way, but it's not a beautiful thing you getting stuck in this cycle round and round and round. Make sense? What else could we say about this? We could say that the symptoms are purpose-driven to bring you back to who you are, who you are, what, what, what your path is, and how it is that you're to live this path. This is the mystery of who you are. We're not a problem to be solved so much as we are a mystery to be embraced. But what happens is, is that we get stuck trying to resolve the problem, trying to resolve the problem, trying to resolve the problem. And we go round and round and round. Problem solving goes way up. Mystery goes way down. And we forget about who we are. What we have to do is start to then embrace what this is all about. And, and, and what, what, what are we all about? We need some stronger medicine to access that. So I have some processes that help people get access to the mystery of who they are, what they're all about in this lifetime, the why, you know, what matters for, for them, and what, what, what is so absolutely vital in terms of a meaningful life for them, but can't get through this ordeal. So embracing the mystery allows us to bring the mystery up and gives us the strength and the perspective sometimes to be able to then move out of this particular uh, negative cycle pattern that goes round and round and round. Now, if you're talking about, like I said, if you're talking about, you know, anxiety or you're talking about depression or you're talking about a cancer or a repeat occurrence of cancer or you're talking about a particular, like a mind, body, soul or relationship cycle or a work cycle that goes round and round and round, you're not really getting at it. You need the stronger medicine. Happy to help you with this. Uh, been doing my own, going through my own initiations since I, since I left Ireland, actually, and have brought more and more of me home. Have I got every part of me home? No. The mystery of who I am, the mystery of my path, and the mystery of how I can help you is what I'm offering here. I've had many ordeals, many teachers, many allies, many mentors, lots of inner work, probably millions of dollars worth of I think I added it up as not quite a million dollars worth of growth and professional help and, and, and teachings and education that has got me here. I have a degree in the mind, body, and soul, which helps me understand all the ramifications of the various symptoms in those different areas and how they all tie together to, to bring us back here. I hope this is helpful. If you need some help with this, if you're finding yourself in this cycle and you want to step into who you are by fully healing this once and for all. I'm not talking about passing over. I'm not talking about just more dancing in the light. That's not where the work is. The work is going into the darkness and with allies and with the strong medicine and deciding enough of this already. We have to move out of this and move now into the healing because the real effects of this cycle are just too much in myself, on my family, on my community. And it's just, you're going to get exhausted. You won't have time and energy to deliver the medicine to the people. I hope this is helpful. Call me if you need to. It's Michael Talbot Kelly, 1604-317-1613. Love to help. Bye for now.